All right, here we go, folks. Welcome back. This is Bobby G's and Heasy coming to you straight out of Racked Billiards in Sanford, Florida. Another great matchup for you guys in store here. Mika Eminen versus Esteban Robles. Mika's a 7.84 Fargo, and Esteban, well, he's sitting at a 6.46, and I'm pretty sure that's a little low for his uh, his actual skill level. So, uh, anywho, this is the uh, on the one loss side. This is 10 ball, alternate breaks. 10 only counts on the uh, 10 does not count on the break in the bottom two corners. And we are playing all ball fouls. And Mickey Edmonds got the first break in this race to seven. Mika makes a very nice break. Unfortunately, does not have a uh, open shot here on the one ball. So he's gonna be looking at playing a safety. Um, I don't really see a whole lot except for trying to nudge the cue ball up on the back of the uh, nine and leave the one ball on the side rail there, about like so. Nice safety here from, from Mika. And um, Esteban, I don't think he can go uh, to the side rail first. Well, maybe he can, he's looking at it. All right, so he, he does uh, pull that one off. And uh, Mickey Eminen's like, thank you very much. Perfectly straight here on the one in the side. And he got a little more angle than he wanted on this three ball, but he's gonna have to work with that. I don't really see uh, anything but other than uh, possibly running into the back of the, uh, the five ball. Oh, wow, okay. He played that pretty good. I just don't know if that if that four goes past the five, see if we can get a better line on it. He's shooting at it like it is, so it must go. All right, nicely done. And this time he didn't quite get as straight as he wants, so he'll probably just pull it back and shoot the six in the corner. Or he could really force it, but I think he's gonna have to reach too hard to try to force this ball, so I don't expect him to really do a whole lot with it. Just thinking maybe he could just Pull it like right here. If he's got if he's got a little bit more angle on it, he'll he'll force it. Looks like he's gearing up to force it to the side roll and back out. Okay. Just drew it straight straight back. Okay, will you tell them at the bar? I don't work here. Thank you. All right, so Mika's got a uh, nice here, a nice shot here on the six ball. And uh, he, he drills it. Mika's playing really good from what I hear. Uh, other players are talking about uh, how well that he's been shooting this uh, in this event. This is the line you want when you want to get the uh, position on the 10 ball. You're going to make this 99.9% uh, .9 of the time. And Mika takes the first right down in this race to seven against Esteban Robles. And Esteban's going to have the break. Breaking rack number two. All right, here we go, Esteban to break. Dead center table. Hits it really good. One ball was going and got hit. I didn't see anything else go in, so we're looking at a dry break. And Mickey Eminen comes to the table with a nice looking shot here on the one. And it, it uh, gives him great position for the, uh, for, the, for the two ball on the other side of the table. So uh, 
I believe Mika is trying to decide if he's going to try to go ahead and break open the uh, the four nine. He's got a good line to do that. He's just got to be uh, be cautious here to make sure that he doesn't get stuck behind one of these balls while breaking him up and trying to maintain position for the two ball. See if he decides to try to break him up. And he's jacked up over the eight, so he's probably not going to. Just gonna deal with the uh, four when he gets there. And he's still looking at it like he, I think right now he's looking to see if he can hit and stick the ball right behind the nine and sending the uh, four ball around the table. Or he could draw right here into the four. He's gotta make sure he hits rail first and then the four, and that way the cue ball will go towards the three. And that's, that's what he tried to do, just, just misses the four ball. So um, Mika's got, uh, got his work cut out for him on this one. I don't believe he's gonna have enough angle here to send the cue ball towards the, uh, the four and the nine, especially with the five ball being right there. So he's going to really have to uh, thread a needle, and, and he's going to uh, he's going to play a bank on the three ball. If he makes it, he's going to stop his cue ball right where it is. If I had to guess, and play a safety on the four. So let's see how he does it. And I believe that's what his plan was. The play safe on the four and he's getting right down so he must have perfect position for this shot right here. Nicely done by Mika Eminen. That's talking, uh, that's what you're talking about planning your routes. He planned that probably from the get-go. <clears throat> and Esteban makes a superb hit. Unfortunately, uh, leaves Mika a shot on this four ball in the corner pocket and uh, for Mika, this is probably a routine out for him. I expect him to just draw off. He's got a little bit of angle here, so I think he's gonna just draw off here and get anywhere out in this vicinity. Well, I was really worried about running in the eight ball going that direction, but he hits it. I mean, absolutely perfect. Just misses the eight, just misses the five, and he's dead perfect on the five. So this is a uh, basically a cakewalk for Mika Eminen right here. Just get anywhere straight on the seven. I believe your goal would be to get perfectly straight so you can come straight back with the uh, seven for the eight. And he's not gonna get straight in, so he's gonna have to work some magic here on the cue ball. I really expect him to go here, 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 back out there. Now I know he was looking at this side pocket right here, so he could slow roll this ball and put the cue ball right here which is what he's doing. That's a really good shot there by Meek Eminen. At least this way, all he's got to do is just slow roll his ball and roll forward with the shot here. And that gives him a nice, uh, a nice line here for the nine ball and just bounce off the side rail. And he'll be playing the uh, 10 ball right here. Just like so. And this is uh, it's going to be quick work here for uh, for Mika Eminen. All right, so he's leading this match two to zero versus Esteban Robles, and uh, this is only a race to seven, so this could go quickly. So you guys, do me a favor and share the stream. I would greatly appreciate it. I just put a new uh, a new post out there on Facebook. You guys can hit that post and uh, and share it for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Mika Eminen versus uh, Esteban Robles. That's what I put in the post.
Very nice break from Mika. Sitting pretty on the three ball. He's looking at the five ball there. Really, uh, don't really expect him to do that, but expect him to do this. Or he could do that. Either way, he gets the cue ball where I figured that's where he was trying to get. For a minute there, I thought he was just going to go to uh, shoot the six in the upper corner up there. But thought that was a little out of line as it was. So Mika's got a nice uh, angle here. You can do a lot with that shot there. Some people just like to draw it straight across the table. Some like to force follow like Mika Eminen did. Looks prettier that way. Either way, he got a uh, pristine position here on the uh, seven ball to get to the eight as he does. Nicely done. And Mickey Eminem is making quick work out of this match. Okay, Mickey Eminem, three to zero over Esteban Robles. Esteban's making it too easy for him. Dry breaking. Scratching, all the above, errors. Definitely needs to pull off a really good break here. At least put some kind of pressure, starting to look like me out there. Not really a whole lot you can do about it. If you don't make a ball on the break, kind of like at the mercy of the uh, of the break. Not really for sure what he's asking the player over there. All right, so Esteban, Esteban Robles to break, rack number four, trailing this match, zero to three, and makes a really good break here. Is he gonna get anything on the one ball? And it doesn't look like it, so he'll be forced to play a safety. I'm assuming that he's gonna be shooting the one across table over in this vicinity and trying to get the cue ball to go here and here. He'd love to get it to Mary right up the back of these two balls. See what Esteban decides to do with this. That's kind of what he did. He didn't really get a lot on that cue ball. I expected him to, uh, to really turn that ball, but that didn't happen. Let's see what uh, Mika's got in store here. I think uh, he's going to have to be forced to go uh, probably two rails. He's calling the side pocket. And this guy's staring at my camera, Adam Wheeler. <laughs> he's uh, he's super tall, as you can tell. His eyes are like dead, even with the uh, with the camera hanging down there uh, around the light on that other table. 
All right, so Mika makes a good hit here. and Not a bad row, really. I don't think uh, Esteban can make this one. It might go in between the three and the five, but I don't, I don't think so. Let's see if I can get a better look on this camera here. It's very close. It's very close. Looked like he's playing a safety. Sent it two rails, just like so. And he needs cue ball to get cover, and looks like we got gappage right here. Yeah, he's trying to get the cue ball behind the three. Fortunately, uh, the cue ball died out pretty fast. So he had, he had more punch than stroke on that shot, which is how you're supposed to do it, but his uh, stroke got a little, a little too weak on there. Either way, Mika's got a, uh, another opportunity here to try to make something happen. And I'm, if I had to guess, I would say that uh, Mika's gonna make this one ball here Send the cue ball two rails, and he'd love for it to stop in this vicinity because it doesn't go past the six ball. I think this would be his best uh, opportunity to try to make something happen. And he hit the same line, but he, he goes all the way around the table. I'm not for sure if he's trying to play shape for the four or the, the two here, but either way it goes, his cue ball went perfectly in line as I drew it. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't go past the six ball. So not really for sure what uh, what he had in mind there. So we know what he's got in mind there. He's gonna try to get ball in hand here and this is gonna be a tough hit for Esteban. That five ball is gonna be big here. So he's gonna have to hit the ball straight and put a bunch of left English on it just to avoid the five. And he goes all the way around the ball. Unbelievable. He might have just got fortunate here with the uh, three getting behind the uh, the five ball. So Mika's not going to have anything easy to work with here. So he's probably going to be looking at playing shape for the uh, short side shape for the three up table. If he wants to keep his run going. And he goes for the breakout instead. And mighty fine breakout he just got. So now uh, Mika's got a back cut on the three ball. And I believe it can go just like so. That's some pretty good stuff right there, if I do say so myself. All right, did he come back too far? No, I think he's got just enough to swing this five in. He'll swing it in and slam his cue ball, two rails, back out to the middle. Oh, wow. Really surprised that he chose to do it that way, but kind of left himself. Not really jacked up, but next to it. Don't really think he was intending on being that close to the eight ball. I think he just hit the five ball uh, a little on the funny side. And Mika is feeling uh, real comfortable at the table now. As you saw, he just took a, a really quick one stroke at that at that eight ball. So he almost feels like uh, there's not a shot on the pool table that he can't make. And he's perfectly straight in on the 10 ball to take a commanding lead here. Four to zero over Esteban Robles. Race to seven. It's good stuff right here, folks. Share the stream if you don't mind. <laughs> thought maybe I was hearing stuff. Oh, I am. It's in my headphones. All right, here we go. McCammon in the break. Rack number five. Going to seven. Doesn't have a care in the world at the moment. Everything is played out just like he's planned it for the most part. Solid break. Anything going to go in? Three ball? You know, three does go. And look where the two ball is. Two ball sitting beautiful in the corner pocket. 
You hit this ball with straight top English and just get it anything past the six ball. And he's going to be okay with the two. And this is one of those shots where a lot of people, they'll try to really hit this ball hard because they know they got to get all the way up table. But this shot here is really all about stroke. Keep it smooth. And let the ball roll. If you punch this ball, there's no way you can get past the six ball. So let's see how Mickey Eminen hits it. He's going to hit it very high. And you'll see his, uh, his stroke is going to be smooth. I mean, he... He was getting fancy there. That was kind of unnecessary, but uh, he is up four to zero. I think he's uh, just kind of playing around with Esteban now because really, I mean, just straight top English. Nice, smooth stroke. Like I said, get past the six ball and the two's gonna be a piece of cake. So now he's gonna be forced to play a safe or knowing him, he's gonna go rail first and kick this ball in. And that's exactly how he plays it. You gonna catch yourself getting too fancy here, and then uh, Esteban's gonna come back and uh, make him pay for some of this stuff if he really is trying to win. So let's see what happens here. So I believe I believe Mink is gonna shoot this ball in the side pocket. He's looking up table, but I think he's gonna shoot it in the side pocket. Just slow roll this cue ball and get it around the nine ball. He's feeling froggy or running all the way up table, but I don't think so. And he didn't like it. I was really surprised he didn't shoot at this ball. I was really expecting him to uh, slow roll this ball and put it in the side pocket. All right, that's the ball. One rail kick. He's trying to make something happen here. And he misses the ball once again, giving Mickey Emin and ball in hand with an open wide table here. Yeah, I don't see. Uh, Mika got a little too straight on his six ball. So let's see if he's going to try to work some magic here and punch this ball off the rail. Mika is, uh, is, is really feeling in, in fine tune. So he, would, he could go all the way up to the top, but he's not going to chance it. I was looking for another fancy shot here, but uh, Mika just stopped it dead in his tracks and got a straight in here. So he'll go one rail, shoot the eight in the opposite corner. He was way straight, so he didn't have to go to the rail. And uh, really, this is a uh, routine out here. I think he'll just pinch this ball in the pocket. And he did. That looks pretty good. Mika Eminen, once again, takes advantage of Esteban's ball in hand error again. Leads this match. It's getting worse and worse. Every rack, five to zero. Esteban uh, pretty much needs a miracle here. Here we go, Esteban the break, rack number six. Another solid break. Makes the one in the, uh, I mean the four in the uh, side pocket and the one's gonna dress up nicely. Look at this. I think Esteban might be uh, onto something here. We got three ducks in a row. One to the two, to the three. 
four went in the pocket, so you might as well say to the five. Get uh, get good shape on the six ball. He might go ahead and try to force the cue ball into the seven like he did. And he has a little too much force there, so now I don't even know if he can make this two. That's extreme back cut in the side pocket. So this is another uh, another error here. I mean, I expected him to get the uh, the seven ball out of there, so he would have a pocket for the six. A lot easier pattern having the six in that pocket. So now uh, he hit it. He hit it way too hard. Cue ball went about uh, six feet further than it should have. So now uh, Esteban's got his work cut out for him. And I'm pretty sure he can't back cut this in the, in the side, so he's probably going to be forced to bank. doesn't even look like it banks past the six, but it might. I actually like him playing safe, put the cue ball on top of the seven and just let the two drift uh, towards the six ball. And that's another way of doing it, too. The only thing I don't like about this is he didn't get the two on the rail, so Mika's probably going to kick behind it. And he might even call the uh, the three ball here just in case he makes that three. He's looking at the line right now, but I think uh, I think Meek is going to be playing this three ball. I don't really expect him to try to make this seven, but he's he's going for it. He's called the seven ball. I thought he had a better opportunity of kicking it, kicking it to the three ball, but uh, he didn't like that shot. And uh, Esteban. Uh, Esteban's got a, a pretty good back cut here and jacked up over the, the 10 ball. Hope he doesn't hit the back of the seven and scratches. All right, well, he misses the, misses the two ball. And Mika's jacked up over the seven ball. All right. All he had to do was just, just bear down and make the ball. And I think I think he might have got hampered by the six just by a little bit. But it's probably going to be just, he's got probably just enough to swerve around the six. And he's going to look at kicking this ball. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a fairly, uh, fairly uh, easy kick here. And he hits it, uh, well, you can't hit any better than that. It's a dead perfect, nice speed. It's got a small angle on the five ball, and somehow the seven got in the way of the six again. So now Mika still has his work cut out for him. He needs to get to the other side of the table and shoot the six in the same pocket. And uh, how good he hit that ball, folks. Superb. Nicely done by Mika Eminen. This is to get on the hill first. Well, not really get on the hill first, but he will get on the hill first if he runs the rest of these balls out. Which, uh, judging by his position on the eight ball, his right arm would have to fall off to not get out from here. Expect Esteban probably will give him this one. Or not. All right, Mika Eminen on the hill with the quickness, six to zero. Leading this match versus Esteban Robles. And Mika's uh, made really quick work of this match. Nothing to it the way he do it. Wow, so much going on there. All right, so Mika's got another good break here and uh, look at the 5-10 combo. He just needs to get shape on this uh, two ball and that's probably not the way to do it. Mika just kind of one strokes it. All right, so Mika's caught a cross bank in the side pocket just comes up a little wide. 
And uh, gets very fortunate here. Esteban only has a combo on the nine ball here. And I expect him to go for this. He, he, needs, uh, he needs to try to make something happen here. The, uh, the two's going to stay there, so he just go across the table and back over, have the two in the same pocket. Or you could just bank the ball. I'm not really, there's not really an award here. Um, he's calling the 10 ball, so I guess it goes past the five. It's not the easiest of shots. And, and there you have it right there, folks. He, uh, he's not really for sure what's going on with this pool game today. <laughs> not really for sure who looked worse, me or him, <laughs> on that table with that. Here we go. Look at Mika. Mika's trying to make something fancy here. He's uh, <laughs> That was funny. Here goes the 10 ball. Or is he going to two-row bank this four? <laughs> Yeah, he's playing with Esteban now. He's trying to get some uh, get some practice in. He's not really caring too much about it right now. I'd love to see uh, Esteban come back and run four racks in a row, or at least win four racks in a row. Put some uh, put some extra heat on Mika Eminen. Yeah. All right, man. Have a good one. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's something to cheer about right there. He didn't get goose egged like I did. What do you know? Esteban Robles takes one game down. Thanks to Mika Eminen. All right, here we go. Esteban Robles breaking rack number eight. Chose this match by a long shot. One to six, that is. And Esteban uh, makes a good break, but I'm not seeing anything go down. And Mika's going to come to the table with a, uh, a little bit of a cut shot here on the one. So I expect him to go two rails with the, uh, with the cue ball. Come all the way down here. I don't expect him to go slow at all. And that's pretty good speed. Pretty good speed. All right, so this one here is gonna be, uh, he needs precise precision. Two here, he needs to just miss the 10 ball. He don't care if he runs into the four or not, which he didn't. The four is hanging in the pocket, so uh, there's really nothing to it but to do it here. All right, so he hit this ball with high, extreme wide English, and he'll slow roll it and let the slow roll it and let the English take. And uh, I believe he'll be playing the five in the same pocket. He can go two row position off the five for the six in the opposite side pocket. And uh, probably play the seven in the same side that the five's going in. So let's see what Mika's doing. Yeah, that's exactly how he's going to play it. Pretty much how I explained it. I believe he's going to go here, here. And he'd like to be anywhere straight or at least on this side of the six ball. All right, well, that's even better there. Go ahead and get the nine ball out of the way so he doesn't have to play... Uh, precise position on the uh, seven ball. So this works a lot better. Not really sure if I would have seen that. I probably would have, but I'm not down there on the table. So you just never know. Definitely uh, pre-planned for Mika Eminen. And uh, that's what's gonna let him uh, go ahead and complete the uh, rest of this match against Esteban. Unless he's gonna try to get super fancy here. Let's see what kind of stroke he puts on this ball. All right, he did all the playing he's going to do for uh, for Esteban, so he's going to go ahead and clean this match up. Seven to one against Esteban Robles and uh, Mika Eminen four rails it. 
tries to pull a uh, Efren Reyes, and Esteban gives it to him. <laughs> Good stuff right there, ladies and gentlemen.